We'd like to welcome you to another edition of Rick Davis Talking Gold. We'll have some things that hopefully are helpful to you and, and are entertaining and a little bit of fun mixed along the way, so stay tuned. Rick Davis Gold and Diamonds, the one name to remember if you are selling your gold, silver, diamonds, or coins. While other jewelry stores are waiting for customers, Rick Davis Gold and Diamonds is waiting on their customers, over 100 each day. Rick Davis Gold and Diamonds, your friend in the jewelry business. and see why Rick Davis Gold and Diamonds was selected as the best jeweler in the Chattanooga area by an independent national selection committee. For up-to-the-minute prices on gold, silver, or platinum, visit Rick's website at www.rickdavisgoldandiamonds.com. While there, look for Rick's specials to take advantage of. Rick Davis Gold and Diamonds, your friend in the jewelry business. We'd like to remind you to stop by the store at 5301 Brainerd Road. Come in and chat with us. We're always there to answer your questions. And remember, Rick Davis Gold and Diamonds, your friend in the jewelry business. Christiana. Twenty six seventy. It's down thirteen dollars this morning. Fourteen dollars. So you got about a hundred and twenty dollars of that to go. I mean of diamonds. Some of those stones are good. Some of them are just okay. What they mean to me is exactly that. You know, you can't, these are 60 cents a points now. If you ever need to buy any diamonds to build you something, okay. now's the time to do it. Well, I thought that was probably right, 650. Uh, I'll do 675, I'm uh, 575 with him. That gives up everything I get, there's what I get. Ten is nineteen to you it is. Nineteen times two four nine equals four seventy. And five, what was that? Five seventy five. Five fourteen thousand forty five dollars. Is that what you want? Sign out Miss Norm over there for me. You're ready to go. Well, you gotta look good for two days. Uh, I don't. I quit worried about that several <laughs> years ago. Where y'all from? She's from Florida. I'm from Chattanooga. Oh, what part of Florida? Tampa, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Lord, I don't follow none of that sports. My son lives in Lake Mary, and if I was going, I used to say I'd go to Fort Lauderdale. I mean, Daytona Beach. Daytona Beach is nasty now. It is. It's absolutely. Awesome. Breaks my heart because I spent a lot of good summers there, three months at a time. Beautiful, enjoyed it, and now. We used to take my kids, and, and now everybody says that now. Oh, it was fun. You would not speak to anybody on the beach. It's that nasty. I mean, the people are nasty, mm -hmm. and the, it's just, it's just not. And I never went to Fort Lauderdale because it was such a long drive to get there. 
And I went to Fort Lauderdale last year, and my God, gorgeous beaches and pretty people, and you know, everything that you want to see in Florida was there. And we're flying into Fort Lauderdale for a cruise in May. Then I think you got Fort Lauderdale. That is jade, but it is not gold. It's just a gold plating. That's copper. I didn't, I didn't. That's stainless. I'm going to take this and get it fixed. We fix it here. I've got the. The stem. If you bring the parts back in, whatever you've got, yeah. uh, we'll fix it for you, yes, ma'am. I just brought my I had yeah. that stuff aboard. That is a base metal that's been chromed, or for lack of a better word, it's been plated. You never know what you got. Well, they probably sold it for $29, $39. That's the price of a costume ring. If it had been $149, then it should have been gold, but it would still only be worth 30 bucks. So, you know, the gold offsets the other. You've got $23 here. This is just sterling, the coins, and this is just sterling silver. That's fine. Not a I lot of money, her. but she's got a, Oh, I had a lot. I had enough when I come before. And I'm gonna and give you 25 her. just to help you out because okay. was, at least you come to see us. Yeah. Now see, she, now she may get enough chance to buy my lunch. Had a baby. You think so? We'll see here. I have people every day come in. I had a lady come in yesterday and she left for $26,000. She had three diamonds. She thought she was going to have $1,500. She was hollering. I forgot about She was, she said, her statement to me is she was leaving and she says, if I died right now, it'd take the undertaker a month to get the grin off my face. <laughs> <laughs> she was, she was happy. You got to go to on the floor. You got $230. Well, we know you can't. And they won't do that in Florida either. You got to get. I'm going to wait and send my stuff here to you. Yeah, that's fine. Anytime, <laughs> sweetie. 220 $230. Sign out Miss Normal there and you're ready to go, girls. Thank nice you. to meet you. Come in. Oh, what do you got here? 20 325 $25. Okay. Is it uh, satisfy? Well, if I'd have known that was all you had, I'd have snuck you in here between customers. <laughs> $25, sign out with normal over there for me. Right all right. Uh, what's silver bringing and uh, what's gold bringing? And like silverware, uh, what could I say? A whole big box set? Sterling is yeah. $25 an ounce. Uh -huh. Coins okay, is 20 times the face value. Uh -huh. Gold is 10 carat is $20 a gram, 14 carat is $27 a gram. Okay, and on the wheat pennies and all the old, is it still for itself or it went up? Wheat pennies don't move. I know, I know. I just, They've been that way 20 like years. Nickels, war nickels are worth a dollar a piece. Dimes are worth $1.80 a piece. Book. It's a book. I have to bring it. I have to see it. I understand. Thank you, Rick. All right, Rick. All right, he said I could think about it and come back. I remember you. Yeah. I offered you 600 Oh, well, yeah. I told him to pay you 600 and you wanted to think about yeah, it. Yeah, so I thought about it. $600. Yeah. Thank you, sweetie. 
How you doing, bro? Yes, sir. That's a real one, too. That's made after the real one. That's not made to look like a piece of jewelry. Hundred dollar bill. What you wanna do? You got your driver's license with you? Sign out with Miss Norma right over there and you're ready to roll, bro. Thank you very much. I better know it after 36 years. They wouldn't let me sit here if I didn't know a little something about it. How are you today? I'm good. Hey, Cougarin, I wish you had a bunch of tents. I need some tents and I can't find them nowhere. I got to have them a long time. Look, I'm going up cases to get us some rice. That's just load me up, get me about six of those half devil eggs and some potato salad and I'm just I'm just good. How about sixteen hundred dollars? What are you trying to get out of it? Seventeen. Never happened, brother. Six sixteen sixty seven is right now as we speak market on it. They cut me back twenty dollars on on uh, cougar ants. American eagles are the only thing that'll bring a hundred percent of market. Okay. Well, so if you want if you want if you want seventeen, you're gonna have to wait until gold hits seventeen and a quarter, and then I'll pay you seventeen. Okay. You're gonna you're gonna be twenty twenty to twenty five dollars back right. of whatever the market is any day. Okay. You know. Okay. Yeah. I just. I thought I'd get an idea because I've had the thing since 1980. So. Yeah, I understand. You should be in at three or four hundred dollars, aren't you? Probably. Well, no, I was given to me, really. Oh, so I you're wanted, nothing in it. I ain't got nothing. Uh, I want right to now, it. what I get, just so you know, it's 1667. Sixteen forty-two. So is what I get. And you know, I'm gonna make forty-two dollars on a sixteen hundred dollar buy. I'm gonna put out sixteen hundred to make forty-two dollars. I mean that's that's how simple it is. But I'll buy it from you seventeen twenty-five. I'll give you seventeen. So that's that's the that's the ticket you need to remember. All right. Thank okay. You very much. Yes, sir. Thanks for coming. You ever made me any coffee? Huh? Let's see if you can make good coffee. How you doing, guys? I'm good. Who's classroom? Um, I bought my car like six years ago, and I got a spare tire out of the car, and it was in there. <laughs> in the spare tire? <laughs> oh, good for you. So it's mine now. I like somebody's gonna walk up and claim it tomorrow. Well, this car is bought in another state, so I don't think that's going to happen. Where'd you do this at? Was it here? Where'd you, where'd it come from? Uh, I don't know. It was bought at auction and then sold to my uncle's car lot. That's a 2004... Brian had a bachelor's degree in something, but it don't have a school name on it nowhere. Nope. You got two hundred dollars? Okay. Yay. Like I'm telling you. <laughs> What's up? That was a good spare tire for you, wasn't it? Yeah, I definitely. One hundred, two hundred. Driver's license. Sign out with Miss Norma over there, and that'll keep us straight. Yeah, Come back yeah. and see us. Sign out with Miss Norma right over there. Awesome, thank you. She hadn't bit nobody today, so just be real kind of careful with her. How you doing? Doing fine. How yeah, you we doing, will. Sir? Grandma's gold teeth finally <laughs> surfaces. <laughs> We've laughed about that. I had an ad that said, gut the dog and grab Granny's gold teeth because we're going to Rick's. And you wouldn't believe. I mean, I'll have a lady last week come in and got $900 on gold teeth. She had... 18 or 20 oh gold my caps. Goodness. Yeah. Wow. It mounts up. <laughs> of course, it's nowhere near.
what the dentist charges you to do that. <laughs> no, that's for sure. <laughs> you got $120 there, bro. Well. <laughs> in that little wire thing. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, I paid 900 for a dentist yes, yesterday. Yes, sir. Not yes, with sir. that, not be, uh, to replace that one, but. Uh, he probably he probably took that out, didn't he? No, not yesterday. No, and I mean the same ago. dentist though. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. like me. I use the same guy for 400 years. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, guys, sign out with uh, Norm over there. Just tell her you had a gold bridge. Okay. How are you doing? Fine. Good. 29. You didn't eat your number. I get you an extra dollar right there. <laughs> Some gas in the old car. That's what I need. <laughs> you want that little stone back? Is it sentimental to you? It has no value. Oh, yeah. I'll take the stone back if you don't want it. Don't want it. Can't use it. Um, can I get a stone off of the place with one of each? Mm -hmm. or I'll give you a little baggie to put them in just a minute. Oh, I've got a little crown bag. <laughs> a little ditty bag? A crown. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying, a ditty bag. Yeah. <laughs> I'll lose it. Ain't a lot, it don't weigh nothing, but it's still what it is, it's still 14 bucks. And so it's all bro been broken in that, so. <coughs> Hundred and sixty bucks. I got a little more gas than you expected, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, you. <laughs> Sign out with Miss Norma right over okay. there, and she will keep us legal, and you're ready to go gas up. Sir. Thank you, ma'am. We're going to break away for a couple of minutes and have a commercial break. But we'd like to invite you to 5301 Brainerd Road. Stop by and see us. Ask us some questions. Look around. Just make yourself at home. We want you to feel comfortable with us at the store as well as on television. So we hope you return more often. Rick Davis see hundreds of people every day and nobody waits over 15 minutes? It's simply the system. Check in with the Golden Girls first. They divide your jewelry into plastic bins. Next, wait for your number to be called. This may be my favorite part because it is never a long wait and it gives me the opportunity to look around the showroom. Then when my number is called, I get to see Rick or Jason. Both of them are great. They give me a value on my items and I decide if I want to sell it or not. Of course, I always do because Rick pays the best. Last, I sign out with Miss Norma. She is really a gem, and I'm on my way. I always have a great time with Rick and his friendly staff. I wouldn't go anywhere else. Rick Davis Golden Diamonds, the one name to remember if you are selling your gold, silver, diamonds, or coins. While other jewelry stores are waiting for customers, Rick Davis Golden Diamonds is waiting on their customers, over a hundred each day. Rick Davis Golden Diamonds, your friend in the jewelry business. Now you can watch Rick Davis Talking Gold anytime on Rick's YouTube channel. Just type in www.youtube.com backslash user backslash Rick Davis Buys Gold. Rick Davis Gold and Diamonds, your friend in the jewelry business. The following is a clip from Night Talk. 
Judy O'Neill, where we take call-ins and answer questions live on the air. We hope that you pick up some questions you may have and some answers and hope that it's helpful to you. If not, feel free to stop by our store, come in 5301 Brainerd Road. We'll try to answer any questions you may have on any items, gold, silver, diamonds, or coins. We're buying all day, every day, and your friend in the jewelry business. All right, we got one caller here. Go ahead. Yes, uh, I was told by someone that uh, you didn't buy the settings out of the rings, that all you did was uh, just bought the gold and just threw the settings away. No, Is that true? No, ma'am. They told you absolutely wrong. We're just the opposite. There's about 70% um, of the dealers in Chattanooga that don't want the diamonds, and they'll tell you that they don't buy them, they just want the gold. We buy the diamonds no matter how small they are. We buy the, uh, the bigger they get, the more you get, of course, more in money. But we buy all diamonds. We buy all sapphires, emeralds, rubies, tanzanite. Uh, you know, anything that's in there, we will buy it at some price. It's just, you know, sometimes it's not a lot of money, but we do pay for anything we get like that or we'll take it out and return it to you. Okay, what about uh, pink ice? Is that worth anything? No, ma'am, pink ice, unfortunately, is a, is a colored uh, cubic, zirconium, cubic zirconium, for a lack of a better word. It's just, you know, when they're brand new, they only cost about a buck and a half to $2. Oh, good Lord, I done got ripped off. Well, the, the pink ice, what you was paying for was the workmanship in the ring to set it and the profit and everything else that went to build the ring that had the pink ice in it. The pink ice was very little of the amount of money that was in the piece of jewelry. You know, the well, gold- I have one ring with the pink ice uh, with diamonds around it. Is it diamonds or is it uh, just white cubic zirconium? No, it's supposed to be diamonds. That's what it was sold to me for. Well, then your, your diamonds have a value and the gold has a value and if it's a pretty piece something that you know that we wouldn't break down then you know we'd of course we'd put a couple bucks in there for the pink ice just so we didn't break it down uh -huh. well i have some uh antique jewelry and do you give do you tell people what it's worth yes ma'am we will, we'll, we'll say we will show about. you we'll tell you i'm a certified appraiser We'll show you, we'll give you the appraisal price, we'll give you the price that we will pay for it, and then at that point, you know, it's up to you to make up your mind whether you want to sell it or not, but at least you know what you have. Okay, well, it's a really old ring that came from my grandmother's mother. Is it a filigree piece? I really don't know that much about jewelry. Has it got I the little lacy? I down, and I'm the last one to get it. Is it little lacy looking, little bitty wires and things that's just real lacy and delicate no, looking? It's just a gold ring with a purple setting in it. Amethyst, probably an amethyst. Looks kind of like it. Yeah. Just bring it into the store, and myself or Jason, either one, we can do the appraisal for you and show you, we'll show you not only what it's worth, but what it sells for. Well, I've been dying to get up there, but I can't find nobody to bring me, so. I'm gonna to have to hire me a taxi if I'm one. You know, I had a guy come in last week, he called me about some things and I told him what he had and I think it was seven or eight hundred dollars and he said he couldn't get a ride. And after I told him what he had, he said, I believe I can get one now. And he come in in a taxi. He come in and <laughs> sold it, got his money and left in a taxi. Well, it's hard to get a ride when you can't drive. I mean, it's tough. Well, we're okay. there we're there every day from ten till six, Monday through Friday. And we're there 10 to 5 on Saturdays. So anytime you, uh, you know, if, you, if you're right on the beginning, uh, the ending of the day, and you're going to be running right at closing time, if you'll call, we'll make sure to wait on you. All right. All right, let's take this caller over here. Go ahead, caller. Uh, yes, is stainless steel... Speak up, we can't hear you. Talk... No, ma'am, not that, not that we can get. Uh, stainless steel is just, you know, a set of silverware, a service for 12 is usually around $60, $70 out at some of the discount stores. There's just no resale value to it. Caller, go ahead. Hey, Judy. 
Yes. Uh, I wanted to ask Rick, if I bring my um, charm bracelet over there with all the charms on it, do I have to take the charms off, or will they do that, or how does that work? You know, that came up the other day. That somebody had taken one to another place, and they said that uh, they had to go home and remove them or something. They wouldn't take them off. Uh -huh. But we'll take them off any time. We'll take them all off or just the ones you want off or whatever you need to do. We'll do it, and there's no charge for it. Okay, that's great. I'll be over there tomorrow. All right, sweetie. All right, Colin, go ahead. Yes. Yes. Good evening to you. Good evening. You got a question for I Rick? I bought uh, my wedding ring from Rick, and he uh, fixed my uh, 50th anniversary wedding set, and they're gorgeous. Well, good for you. Did you buy them uh, in the last couple of years? Yes, I did. Have you been bringing them back and getting them buffed and polished regularly where they look well, brand I new? I need to and have some prongs set, set, or put on some old rings I've got, too. Well, you know that's we service those just like the big boys. We do the you know the buffing and cleaning and everything's free. So get them yes, back sir, in. Yes, I do, and I appreciate that. All right, sweetheart. Thanks for calling. watching the show. Hope it's been informative. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got some knowledge along the way. Hope a little bit of fun rubbed off on you. We try to do what we can do to help you. We'd like to thank you again for watching the show. Please stop by in the store and see us. Get to know us. We're your friend in the jewelry business. Thank you and God bless.